सो वॉट्स अप गाइज माई नेम इज आदित्य एंड वेलकम टू एच डी टेक वेल गाइज इन माई टूडेज वीडियो आई एम हैविंग बंच ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द अपकमिंग आई फोन एंड इन शॉर्ट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स फ्रॉम एपल्स इको सिस्टम एंड गाइज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टूडेज वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन प्लीज कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल एंड विदाउट एनी फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so guys let us start with apple's own charging cable well guys we all are familiar that with the iphone 12 lineup you will only get the charging cable in the box and that too a usb type c to lightning cable and guys now according to the recent reports it is looking like apple will ship a braided cable so guys in short instead of the current rubber cable they will ship it with a textured kind of material well guys many people will think that this is first time apple is opting for a braided cable but take example of the home pod or the pro display xdr with both of these devices apple already ships it with a braided cable so guys it has been a decade apple is using rubber as a insulator for their charging cables and guys if you have used an iphone for a substantial amount of time then you know that as per time the rubber starts to peel off and after couple of years the direct metal contacts are exposed and guys as apple is not going to be providing any wired earbuds or the charging adapter in the box so because of this they are already saving lot of money and they can easily spend additional money to get the charging cable braided and guys talking about the charging adapter we all know that the upcoming iphone's cable is going to be usb type c to lightning but currently many people are not having a usb type c charger well guys take my personal example i don't have any charger that is having usb type c as the output and guys there are so many people out there who are going to be buying the new iphones but don't have any usb type c compatible charger and because of which everybody will be for force to buy the 20 watt fast charger by apple so guys now let me come to the most important part of this video and that is regarding the processors well guys in wwdc 2020 apple has announced the transition from intel based processors to apple's own silicons for all of the macbooks and all of the imacs and guys in short apple is now taking the processor game very seriously well guys every year we take iphone's processor for granted like we all know that apple's own silicons are so much optimized that there is no complaint at all like in terms of the android world we can compare between the snapdragon 600 series and the 700 series but every year with the upcoming iphone we take this thing for granted that the new processor is better well guys in short now it is a big responsibility for apple to even take the processor game to the next level So guys TSMC is the manufacturer for Apple's own chipset and guys they have started the production of Apple's A14 Bionic chip and for the first time in the entire industry it is going to be a 5 nanometer process well guys Apple's current A13 Bionic chip is a 7 nanometer chipset and Apple's next chipset is going to be of 5 nanometers so in short the entire architecture is going to be shrinking by 2 nanometers and also you are talking about a way more optimized processors according to the current reports apple's a14 bionic chip is going to be giving 15% more performance than the current a13 bionic chip and this chipset is going to be consuming 30% less power than apple's current chipset so guys in short earlier we got the news that the batteries of all of the four iphones are going to be reducing this might be the reason because of which apple is reducing the battery milliamp powers but guys i just still personally feel that if Apple is opting for 5G technology this optimization is not sufficient well guys if you are talking about the 5G system it of course requires way more battery and this is not a area which can be solved with a less consumption processor for 5G you definitely need a bigger battery life well guys let me know in the comment section do you feel that the battery milliamp powers are less or do you feel that Apple should improve in terms of the milliamp 
powers. And guys, if you are talking about Apple's own silicons, they are best in the industry. Take example of the Apple Watch, which is currently the best smartwatch on the planet. It is having Apple's own processors. Take example of Apple's AirPods, which are the best wireless earbuds in the market. They are also having Apple's W series chipset. Take example of the iPad, which is the best tablet out there. It is also having Apple's own silicon. And guys, soon next year, you are going to be getting MacBooks, which will have Apple's own silicon built into that. If we look at Apple's previous Mac products like the Trashcan Mac Pro or the earlier MacBook Pros, then the thing that is very clear that Apple is not doing pretty well in terms of the thermal management. Take example of the air power mat even. Because of the thermal management issues, they are not able to manufacture this charger. And guess in short, if Apple will shift towards their own processors with the MacBook lineup, then they will get the complete control over the MacBook. So they can can control each and every corner and because of which literally a day will come when you might even recommend a macbook for a gaming kind of user and guys, I also want to include this news that in the upcoming Samsung's flagship smartphones, it is expected that Samsung will also remove the charger from the box. Well guys, still today, Samsung is even providing an OTG adapter in the box. And now Samsung is going to be taking the direct step in accordance to Apple. So guys, this information is not yet confirmed, but we all know that whenever Apple takes any decision, it impacts the entire industry. Well guys, this year, Apple will not provide the charger, so slowly and gradually, all of the companies will start removing it from the box. And even take example, like if next year, Apple will launch a portless iPhone and sell everything individually, then all of the other companies will follow that. And that is the biggest reason why each and every move by Apple is so much significant. Well guys, we all know that the 5.4 inch iPhone 12 is going to be a small smartphone and according to the form factor, you really don't need a massive battery and according to the recent reports, this iPhone will have a 2227 milliamp hours of battery and guys, if you are talking about the iPhone 12 Max and the iPhone 12 Pro, which are both going to be 6.1 inches, they are expected to have a battery life of 2007 775 milliamp hours and guys honestly speaking all of the current iPhone 11 lineup is having battery greater than 3000 milliamp hours and if Apple wants to opt for a downgrade that is not at all acceptable guys even if Apple's A14 bionic chip is going to be excellent but still the battery in terms of milliamp hours is pretty much essential and guys if you are talking about the larger iPhone which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max then you are talking about 3687 milliamp hours and guess the current iPhone 11 Pro Max is having a battery nearly about 4000 milliamp hours so guys I am really curious like why exactly Apple is opting for low battery and guys, if you are planning to buy a brand new iPhone 11, then currently there is a good offer on Amazon. Well guys, this offer is available for a temporary amount of period in which you are getting the 64GB iPhone 11 for 62,900 rupees and 128GB iPhone 11 for 69,600 rupees. Well guys, many people were asking me for the price drop in the iPhone 11 lineup and I think currently 62,000 rupees is a fair price for the 64 GB variant and guys, if you want to wait for the made in India iPhone 11, then you have to wait around November or December but if you want to buy the iPhone 11 right now, 62,000 rupees is I think the best price to go for. So guys, this was all of the information which I wanted to provide in my today's video. And guys, I hope that this video was little bit helpful. And guys, if you are new to my channel, then definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will meet you with another beautiful video. Until then, peace.